Hi, welcome back. Now, after we have completed this slope VI, we are going to test it. Now, according to your lab sheet on lab 2, which is over here, this is the lab sheet on lab page 3. Now, we will try to uh, test this uh, particular sub VI by inserting several uh, coordinate points as shown over here and we later on we will run this program to see whether it generates the a slope of 0 0.571429 the, the angle in radian as well as the angle in degree so uh, moving back to the block diagram and the front panel has shown I will switch to my text tool and I will insert the value 2 here for x1, I will put 7 and for y1, I will insert number 6. I will click a run. Yes, so this program is correct. Okay. Now, I will then now move on to explain how we can make this a sub vi because this program itself is still a untitled to front panel program right and it doesn't have an icon here as well as this thing called the connector pane i think it is very timely to save this program now so i will go to file at the top click save as okay i would call this program uh, slope dot vi as you can see here so please type in your file name over here it's called slope dot vi then after that you will click ok so in this case because i have already have an existing file called slope vi i'm just going to override it right so now this program has been saved now please notice one thing that uh, when you save uh, and all, a question that often being asked by students is that if you save the front panel, do you need to save the block diagram? So the answer is no. You only need to save once and both the front panel and the block diagram will be saved together. Now I'm going to look at the next part now. I'm going to create the icon for this uh, sub VI with a relevant connector panes as shown over here. Now. Uh, in this connector pane, which I'm going to explain more detail, you will notice that I've purposely chosen a connector pane where there are four input terminals. So the input terminals are shown on the left hand side over here. And then you have three output terminals over here. So in short, I call this a four by three, right? So on the left, okay, there are four inputs terminals and on the right hand side, shown in this orange box here there are three output terminals and this one is the icon of this sub vi so how do we create this so let's switch you over to the code again now uh, over here you will notice that uh, currently the icon itself is uh, a generic one so we need to edit it so step one is to select the icon over here, right click, okay, choose edit icon. So once you click, okay, a window will be launched. So you can see this is the icon where you can do your editing. So uh, of course, there are many tools here that you can use. I mean, different uh, icons that you may use. But for this demonstration, I'm going to start to do a simple one. I'm going to use the select tool click on the select tool i will highlight this uh, part here and then i will press the delete button so i'm going to delete right and i'm going to fill this thing i'm going to use the fill bucket tool and i'm going to choose the color as well i'm going to use yellow right i'm going to fill up this uh, box here if you want okay the icon uh. Now the next thing is to put a text. 
So I deliberately use the T tool, which is the text tool, select, and I'm going to make sure that uh, the text is uh, a different color. So I'm going to use black, and I'm going to click inside the yellow box here, and I'm going to type the word slope. Okay, now notice that you can use the up down arrow key to move this text content here. So I'm 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 shifting the up and down key, the arrow keys. And you can see that I've created an icon called slope. Okay, I'm happy with this. I'm going to click okay. Now you notice that the icon has been changed. Now the next thing to do is to edit this uh, connector pane. Now in effect, LabView can take in a maximum of 28 connector, connector terminals. But for this instance, I don't really need this. So what I'm going to do is I will right click. Uh, I will choose the pattern. I would choose a 4x3. Okay, there are notice there are different patterns that you can use to create this connector pane. So I will use a four by three four by three, which means it's four input terminals and three output terminals. So clicking on this, right, you will notice that I have this four by three terminal, which is not connected yet, because you need to associate it with the controls and the indicators as shown. So how do we do this association? You press the shift key, get the wiring tool. Okay, this is a critical part. Get the wiring tool to do the connection, the association in, in fact. Now, just before I go to that, I would like to show you the, on this slide here, on page uh, three of your lab sheet two, Notice that we have already decided to use the input terminals as shown. So you have x0, y0, x1, y1, and the outputs are in this order. Slope, the angle in radians, as well as the angle in degree. So we try to follow and be consistent with here. So moving you back on to here, okay, what I'm going to do is uh, I will then uh, shift right click, Okay, click on the wiring tool. I'm going to click the first terminal. Notice that the first input terminal is shown has a black color, highlighted black. Then I will click on the X0. Alright, so you notice that as soon as I click this, this color changes. Okay, now I'm going to click on the next one, which is the second terminal and I'm associating it with Y0. Then I will do likewise for the third one, which is the X1 with X1 over here. And finally, this final terminal with Y1 has shown. Now I will do the same. I'm going to associate the slope with the output first terminal. Radian, the angle in radians to the second terminal here. And this will be the last terminal that I have done. So in effect, I have completed creating a sub BI with proper icon as well as proper connector terminals. Okay, I think it is a good time to save your program. Okay, thanks for watching and I will pause here.